Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and the cheapest coins anywhere, make sure you guys check out MMOEXP.com and use code ZERK for 5% off your order. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerk's coming at you today with another Madden Ultimate Team video and today we have one of the most anticipated gameplays all year long. Fullback Robert Hunt, but a running back. I do want to give a shout out to Gerald Lewis for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys have a chance to shout out the next video, drop a like in the vid, make sure you guys are subbed to the channel, turn the notification bell on, and comment down below Noti Gang. So yes, we have Robert Hunt at running back today now a couple things i want to point out before we even get into the gameplay yes he's going to get the ball 20 to 25 times this game are we going to win this game maybe maybe not winning the game is not what's important what is important is getting the ball to robert hunt so i do not care if i go into this game and because this man has got 81 speed and 85 acceleration we lose by 30 points if robert hunt trucks over eight people this gameplay is a W. To make that clear, I am not necessarily doing this gameplay to try to show you guys that we can win with Robert Hunt. I am simply doing this gameplay to show you how much of a monster Robert Hunt is and how he alone will will us to victory. So yes, we are using a 323 pound running back. He's got 81 speed, 85 acceleration. This may be my favorite gameplay this year I've ever done, right? And then last year, my favorite gameplay was probably quarterback Ogden. That was hilarious. This is going to be really fun as well. Now, I did buy his power for 40,000 coins just to get plus ones for the gameplay. Absolutely, I did. He's also got 85 catching. I mean, his run blocking and stuff is actually pretty good. So to be honest, he'll probably stay on the team after the gameplay as an actual fullback. But he is definitely going to be getting the ball today. Now, he's only got 79 trucking and 80 break tackle. Obviously, the juke's not there. The carrying's not good. The stiff arm's not great. But uh, 323 pounds on next gen. Yeah, he's probably going to break a lot of tackles. And yes, I know, like I said, we're probably going to lose the game, but I do not care. It is Robert Hunt. He is going to get the ball 20 times. So, of course, we're going to be running Freight Train on him. Uh, as for his ability slots, because he's a fullback, he doesn't really have the greatest. So, in Tier 1, really, the only thing good here is Second Wind, and that's not even that great. But I'm just simply running it because if you guys take a look at uh, Robert Hunt's stamina, it is not very good. It's 87. So hopefully, second one will help him get his stamina back mid-play sometimes. Maybe he'll be able to pick up a couple extra yards because if he runs out of stamina on the open field, he's getting caught. And then Tier 2, we are going with Bulldozer. Now, I wish he got Bulldozer in Tier 1 so I could run Recuperation here in Tier 2 because the odds are he's probably going to end up coming out of the game quite a few times because of how bad his stamina is. And I have three timeouts, and I'll try to use those every half. After that, we'll just have to run some plays without him. But with that being said, let's get into the gameplay, and let's go run some dudes over. Looking to take your game in Madden 22 to another level? Make sure to check out HotRoute.Tips. Get access to eBooks, tips, and schemes from Madden Pros. Use code ZERK for 10% off. Let's dominate Weekend League. So I'm really curious to see what we can do out here, as he does have Dion. He's got James Robinson, of course, Cam Chancellor, and my top three, Dion, Cam Chancellor, Antonio Brown. So here we go. We have Robert Hunt right here in the backfield. That is a big running back. Now, my opponent looks like he probably knows how to stop the run based on his uh, defensive alignment here. So hopefully we can get some decent blocks and Hunt in the open field. Tried to truck somebody. All right, so a gain of 12 right there for Robert Hunt. I bet my opponent is very confused right now and uh, wondering why I actually have this man and running the football with him, which I have to say, he seemed kind of decently quick on that. I know he wasn't super fast, but definitely a little bit quicker than I expected as we're going to try a little cutback. Robert Hunt in the open field broke a tackle. Now, of course, he is also so big that you guys can air truck. So if you just truck, you're going to get like a little bit of a lunge forward as we're going to try it here. You guys can see we got a little bit of a... Oh, he's still going. Okay, so I honestly was a little bit shocked there. So he broke the tackle. I thought he was going to get down, but you guys saw there. He actually, the last animation there, he was shoving somebody off him. That, that surprised me a little bit. We're going to run this to the left side. Robert Hunt. Oh my God, with a spin. Yeah, that is one thing I did not expect to see in this gameplay is me actually hitting a spin move with Robert Hunt. 
Okay, that is something I did not expect at all as Hunt falling forward. Okay, I'll take it. He does also have really good catching. We have five rushes for 42 yards, and I want to go to him here. He's not going to be open, and we just fumbled. I was trying to scramble outside the pocket. I was going to throw it away, and then we fumbled. And he's going to scoop and score me. Nice. Oh, well, I wanted to go to Robert Hunt there, and uh, yeah, he wasn't open. So I tried to scramble to the outside there, and I was going to throw it away. We got hit. We fumbled. He scored a touchdown. Let's go back to Hunt. There is no way that this play is actually going to work, right? Like, I'm about to run a stretch play with a 323-pound running back, and he did truck over him. All right, third and six coming up, and you know what? Why not? We're going to run it. We are going to run the football here. He's actually off sides, and Robert Hunt is still going another truck there. Let's go. Got to be at least three broken tackles. Like, as big of a meme gameplay as this is, I'm kind of surprised how good we're doing. Like, he's slow, but we're still picking up, like, some pretty big yardage here, and he's falling forward, like, every time. Nine carries for 57 yards is a really, really good stat line. Second and six coming up. Once again, we're going to run the football. There's a big gap right there. We got another first down. So, second quarter just started, and we almost have 100 yards as we just trucked over Camp Chancellor. All right, this card is something serious. This is a legit running back, okay? I know LeGarrette Blount is amazing, this card is serious. Second and five, we get another good block, and once again, another truck. Third and inches coming up. I don't even care if this guy run commits. I mean, he can shoot the gap, whatever. We get some great blocks, hit the outside, we truck another defender, and we're just gonna keep going back to him. This guy cannot stop the run, as I think he actually just ran commit right there. Second and 10, hopefully he doesn't play the flats, because I actually want to go to him here. So I'm gonna try to hit him, and he is gonna be open in the flats, Robert Hunt. Ah, I couldn't do much. Now it is third and eight, right? So there's no way that he run commits. There's just no way. It's third down. It's third down and eight to go. There is no way that he is going to run commit on this. And uh, pick up a three. So we are now down to the goal line at the six yard line. Can we run this in? We have to get him in the end zone. We absolutely have got to get him into the end zone. Fall forward. Let's go. I know he's probably going to run commit, but I don't care. We are going to run this football. Hunt breaking tackles in for the TD. Yeah, Robert Hunt, as I said, as big of a meme as he actually is, that card's serious. That is a, a very, very hard card to tackle. And I think just about any team could use him at fullback. As a running back, you know, he is still a little bit slow. But he's making plays as my opponent wanted to go deep. And we didn't just sack him. We didn't just sack him. Bro! There is no way he just completed that pass. I just QB contained there knowing this guy just wants to scramble around there, right? And yet, I dove at him. I like dove through him with Michael Vick. And then he completes that pass. That is insane. And now being down at the 14 yard line, I should have him contained here. I've also got a spy and I'm going to look out for Kittle because I feel like he probably wants to throw to George Kittle here. What's he going to? Yep. He wants to go to Kittle. It's not going to be open and we're getting some pressure. We get a sack. That's me in the first half. All right. So he does start the second half off here with the ball and it looks like he's going to run the ball a little bit with James Robinson. And also, I will say I am actually really, really surprised. I definitely thought for sure going into this gameplay, you know, Robert, he was going to break some tackles and everything, but I thought he was going to be so slow. We were just, you know, not really going to be able to uh, move the ball offensively and actually stay in the game. But it's tied 7-7, seven to seven, and if we get a stop here, I actually feel decently confident in my offense as nothing's open. He's got to throw it away. Okay, third and two. Again, contains out there, spies out there. I actually thought he was going to run it for a second, and I'm going to be all over that. That's a great play. So that was honestly just a really, really good play right there by him on third and short. And I'm looking out for that. Nothing really seems open. Oh, he's going to that. Yup, I saw it way too late. I literally saw Kittle on that route and knew it was going to get open. It was a perfect play call for him. Again, I, I kind of feel like he's about to run it. Is he going to run it here? Or is he going to try to like throw short to Kittle? And it looks like nope. And he really caught that. Okay, Charles. He's down to the five-yard line. We've got to be able to stop him. I definitely expect to run, and I completely messed up there. Good run. Right, so we're down by seven points now, and honestly, I am going to run the ball a ton. I'm going to run some chew clock here. As much as I said, you know, this is a Robert Hunt gameplay, and that's the full purpose of this, just to show you how good of a card this actually is and how fun of a card this is, 
I wouldn't mind actually winning the game as well as we're gonna try to run it here the left side Robert Hunt in the open field uh, another first down I think and we are now up to a hundred and one rushing yards I cannot believe that as we're gonna try to cut it back to the right side I don't think we got it and surprisingly so i guess we did just enough there to pick up the first down so let's go right back to him again hit the outside oh we're not gonna truck him you guys can see hunt is a little bit tired here luckily this should be the last play here of the uh third quarter so let's run it to the right side and pick up a couple of yards there all right third and five he knows i'm gonna run it right i mean there's just no way he doesn't know i'm about to run this football and I still don't care because this is a Robert Hunt gameplay and we are going to get him the ball. Hunt! Oh my god, what a play. This man is actually a demon. He is an absolute demon. Just fell forward like six yards there. And now we're going to go right back to him. Try to hit the edge. We can't break that tackle. Now I am actually going to pass the ball here. But again, I'm straight up. Like every time I pass, I'm looking for Hunt if he's going to be open here. And it looks like he is one-on-one. -on -one. I'm going to try it. I had to try it. I had to try it, right? I wanted to see what we could do with Robert Hunt. I had to try it. I even tried to go over the aggressive catch just to, like, get an animation out of him. We didn't get, like, any animation. That was really, really sad there as I'm going to look out for that. That could be intercepted, though. Defense, I needed you guys to make that play. I badly needed the INT there as he's kind of got AB. Not anymore, though, and Kittle across the middle. That's Dion in man coverage on Kittle. That was Dion in man coverage on Kittle right there, and he just completely did not play it at all. Nonetheless, it looks like we're going to lose this game, and yeah, obviously I could start just chucking the ball, but I do not care. This is a Robert Hunt gameplay, not a let's try to win this game gameplay, and Robert Hunt, another truck. I would like nothing more than to run this 75 yards to the house. If I was able to do that with Robert Hunt, 81 speed, got the first. Be my greatest accomplishment in Madden history if I could get Robert Hunt into the end zone in like a big TD run as I'm gonna try to hit the outside, break a tackle, trying to truck people. It was a little bit tired there, so I called a timeout. Second and six coming up though. Oh, one-on-one -on -one with a safety. Oh, he moved. He did not wanna go one-on-one -on -one right there with Hunt as we're gonna run it once again here. He's using on the D-line. Come on, break a tackle. Although, yes, we're gonna lose this game and I told you guys at the beginning we were probably gonna lose the game with him this went a lot better than i ever expected like this card actually surprised me how good he played so this was definitely one of my funnest game plays of the entire year third and five right through the gap right there with a truck this is gonna be the final play of the game robert hunt let's see if we can take it to the house can we house call this he's gonna hit the edge right there truck over him robert bro oh Okay, I thought we were going to break like eight tackles there. So yes, we ended up losing. Do I care? Absolutely no, I do not care. Robert Hunt, 32 carries, 143 yards, a touchdown, zero fumbles, six broken tackles, and 64 yards after contact. Our biggest run was 16 yards, and I think we had one catch. Yeah, one catch there. I tried to hit him again, but unfortunately, couldn't get the ball to him there. That was probably my funnest gameplay of the entire year. And I think he's going to stay on the team, but actually at fullback. Because if you run like goal line, fullback, die with him, that's glitchy. I mean, you guys saw it. He can break tackles for sure. He's falling forward. That was a fun gameplay. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like on it. And, of course, hit that sub button down below. That was a blast. See you guys next time.